Pole pole. It's Swahili for slowly, slowly. Not really the case when we flew all the way across the big ocean to East Africa, 2016. My wife Elizabeth and I ended up here in Tanzania and went on this safari for about 10 days to see and explore this great new land and learn from these people see how they live how they eat and we got to camp and meet the maasai people explore their village go on a trek with this man han johnny who showed us giraffes and i got stuck in an acacia tree but they saved me and then we camped here by elephants by a creek listening to them all night long, seeking water in these canvas tents. And then we walked some more. Oh, Johnny had his spear to protect us from the elephants in case we were charged. And then we went over to this place, Tarangiri, and we saw lots of cows crossing the roads. And just a great transformative experience for me and then we went to the Serengeti. This is when we were driving in. This is basically the most densely populated area in the world for animals and life. Elephants by acacia trees, crocodiles, and of course the leopard. Vast expanse of savanna and high grassland, the Cape Buffalo, one of the big five, the hyena, who I found very interesting. And lots of sandy roads spinning out. And then I had the fortune in Rwanda to go on a gorilla trek. So these guys helped us out with our stuff and we were in volcanoes National Park, we were able to spend an hour with these mountain gorillas, which is probably one of the most profound hours of my life. The baby mountain gorillas, the silver back, and these brave gentlemen protecting us from the Cape Buffalo. And then I left, took a car to the airport, and flew home. Many hours in this two weeks definitely rocked my world. There's definitely no travel without learning and no learning without travel.